my neighbor, Albania. <laughs> Howdy friends, Miss Collins, oh, Sophie. <laughs> Hi there friends, Miss Collins here and Sophie. Uh, that's my neighbor's dog. Um, today I'm going to be making some stuff outside. It is such a beautiful day here where I live. Um, so I'm gonna be doing some artwork in nature and if that sounds like a good time to you, then stay put and let's get started. So before we get started, let's talk about the materials that we're going to need. Um, so first off, you are going to need some water. Um, I'm going to use a plate to do my mixing on uh, and a spoon to act as a little baby shovel. Um, you're going to need some paint brushes, or if you don't have those, you can just finger paint. That's fine by me. And I'm going to be using some paper as well. Um, so a lot of these things are kind of optional, but if you are trying to follow along with me, these are all of the things that you will need for today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set my water off to the side. I'm going to grab my plate and we are going to go hunt for some different types of soil. This is a pretty good color. Um, so I'm going to take my little baby shovel here. I'm going to dig up some of this stuff and I'm going to add it to my palette. My little nature palette, which is just my plate for today. Just a little bit of that. Let's go find some other colors. Um, pigment is the color that you're going to find in your paint. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We're making our own natural sort of paint. Uh, so paint is basically made of two different materials. A pigment, which will be our color here, and our binder. A binder can be a bunch of different things, but for today our binder is just going to be our water. Um, so we have found four different pigments. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to work out. Uh, this is going to be a little experiment with both of us. Like I said, you can feel free to finger paint if you would like, um, but I am going to use my handy dandy brushes here. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with a fresh sheet of paper. This. I'm going to take my different pigments along with my binder and I'm just going to experiment with what happens. Really the point of this project is to get us outside, get us creating something new, uh, maybe that we haven't done before, and experiment. Okay, so I'm just going to get my brush a little wet first and then I'm going to pick up some of this binder or just my water and I'm going to try and mix it with my pigment here on my palette. Now this first one that I'm using is more of a mulch sort of material, so this one I do not think is going to be as successful. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some moisture onto my palette and I'm going to pick up some of our pigment. I'm going to start with this gray one here and I'm just mixing those together. It might be easier for you to just kind of drop the water on here beforehand. Um, but once you've loaded up your brush with some of that pigment and that binder, then you can start to paint. This one's not showing up as dark as I would have liked it, so I might have to switch to a different color. Let's see what happens when I use some of our red mud. Oh yeah, I think this one's going to work really nicely. 
the whole point of this is kind of to experiment and to figure it out as you go. So I'm learning so far that our red kind of mud material is acting as the best paint that I've found so far. Okay, let's see how it applies. Oh, very nice. There we go. Now we're painting. Painting with mud. Um, now please do not feel obligated to follow along with what I'm painting. Um, you guys can paint whatever your heart desires. Uh, you could just do abstract artwork if you'd like to. That's enough of that color. Let's try out this darker brown. Oh yes, now we're getting some different hues, some different colors. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm going for, but this is me and my cat having a, a tea party. <laughs> this is us cheersing. Look, she's got her little pinky up. Let me give her a tail. All right, there we go. There's an artwork, all made out of dirt. <laughs> now we certainly had some successes and some failures in this process, but that's part of it. Learning something new and trying something new is going to come with challenges. Uh, the important part is just to keep making and keep having fun. Um, so I encourage you not to give up, even if you run into some materials that don't work out as well as you'd hoped. Um, keep practicing. And really the, the goal of this artwork is for us to be having a good time. Um, doing something new, trying something strange. Um, and hopefully having fun in the process. Um, because we are using some very, very unusual items to make our artwork with, um, it might not all turn out the way that we had planned, but we are outside, we are making art, and we are hopefully having a good time doing so. So, um, if you end up making some artwork out of earth, out of nature here, um, please do send me your images, uh, whether that's through email or class dojo. Um, I love to see the things you guys are making, especially if they coincide with what I'm doing here at home. Um, it helps keep us connected, and I think that's especially important during this time. So, um, I miss you. I love you. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Bye, guys.